So, I am joined with Corey, and we're back with another five minutes with. Okay. So, your question is, how do you do a topical map? You have okay. five minutes. The timer starts. Let's start. Now. Okay. To create a topical map, first of all, you need to decide which section will be the core, which section, section will be the outer. And in the core section, you have to focus on a single entity. Let's say we go for the online casinos in this case. In this case, you will need to actually process all the type of, let's say, individual casinos and all the processes and, let's say, types of games like board games or sports betting, card games, for instance, chance games and slot other games. types, strategy games and the slot, as you say, slot machines and the slot games as well. And then you will need to go for the further down. For instance, for poker, there are also types of poker. And for every type of poker, there is a different type of casino one more time. So this is the game angle. Then you will need to get also the type of the casinos or also the casino attributes. Let's say the mobile app of the casino, payment options of the casino, the bonus types. Once you have the bonuses of the casino, you will need to go also for the withdrawal conditions, customer support or other type of sections. The important thing is that you don't have to create a new page for every attribute in this area. Sometimes the mobile app, customer support and security, they can go in into the same page. Payment methods as well. Yeah, as well. And sometimes, let's say payment methods, it can be a different page or it can be go together with the bonuses types as well. This is the core section. When it comes to the outdoor section, you can go for, let's say, we talk about poker right there can go for poker rules, poker tips, and poker types, poker history, the famous, most famous poker players, poker tournaments, and many other things about poker. Whenever you have this outdoor section, and whenever you get a new click from there, and when you show actually a satisfaction signal for these clicks, you can transfer this authority and satisfaction signals to the core section through the internal links. You can process all the poker players, and at the supplementary section, which means the bottom of the content, you can link back to the best, let's say, poker casinos in this case, or best, let's say, the poker rules or poker tips, and again, some other type of sections. You can link out to the from outer to the outer, or from outer to the core. But most of the time, we don't link from core section to the outer part. Another component for a working uh, proper topical map is actually source context. If you are a casino affiliate or directly casino itself, or if you are, uh, let's say, casino technology provider or whatever you are, your topical map will, will need to be changing. You will need to reflect your angle. Your source context is important. This is also visible or seen in the Google Google's latest internal uh, API link. And uh, another one there is that once you have chosen your source context, you have to choose a central entity. The central entity should be appearing side-wide. It means that your site should have a main focus and you should reflect it in, on every page on your website. If you, run, if you want to rank for the best online casino, in this case, actually, you will need to be mentioning this phrase in your boilerplate content and also in your main content, which means top of the content, or supplementary content, which is the bottom of the content. Even if you talk about, let's say, the poker game types, or let's say Texas Hold'em poker, for instance, at some point you will need to mention, actually, top casinos or online casinos for this purpose as much as possible. And if you want to, ex if you have a budget, you can expand it further. You can focus on gambling, gambling types, even gambling addiction, for instance, or gambling psychology. And you can also go for casino finances or how to run a casino or anything related to the casino. But these things, as I say, according to your source context, they will need to be distant, outward, or they will need to be closer as much as possible. And this central entity brings us back to the central search intent. Uh, in entire website, you should reflect certain type of predicates, nouns, and adjectives in your title text H1s and through entire heading structure that you have and every individual paragraph, images, and alt text. If you break the context, you will break in the website. A contextless or irrelevant paragraph will be decreasing the relevance of that section and that section will be decreasing the relevance of entire page. It will be decreasing the relevance of other linked pages too. That's why keeping all of them actually organized is very much more important. And if you have these five components, core section, outdoor section, central search intent, central entity, and the source context, if you bring these five things together, you will be able to get a better, top better topical map. For the last 30 seconds, I can tell 
the important thing is that if you use same principles, if I use same principles and he or all the other people who want to rank for the best online casino wants to use the same principles, the rest actually comes to the micro semantics, which means micro micro optimizations, site wide, create marginal changes. And of course, it's about holistic SEO. It's not only about semantics, it's also about links, it's also about technical SEO and branding and brand effect as well. If you bring everything together, you will be winning. Thank you. You've done it very well in five minutes. Yeah, I try my best. Um, <laughs> what, one thing just to add to what you've said, and I think this is where a lot of people mess up their topical maps, is <clears throat> they don't have a source context. So they're just correlating to, if they're a, a gambling affiliate site, they'll just correlate to a casino site, for example. Yeah, and another thing is that they, most of the time, in my experience, they, I said it is in Chiang Mai, in Zakopane too. A topical map is not list of keywords, Mm -hmm. To be honest, it is also not list of topics. It is not list of concepts either. So if you go to ChatGPT and ask for create a topical map or let's say types of plants, for instance, it will give you the types of plants, but it doesn't mean that you should open every a different page for every type there. So it is about actually how the search engine construct indexes. For instance, I was e examining March core update and I realized that the results actually were different for the predicate install and predicate setup. How to install X and how to set up X, they were usually giving the same results. And then when I have seen that actually install and setup, they actually increased semantic distance between them. Because of that, new cannibalizations start to happen. For two years, that content network didn't have any issue. After the March core update, whenever we have the install and setup together, results were in intervening with yeah. each other. So that's why you will need to keep it dynamic all the time. And secondly, when you create a topical map, try to understand how the search engine creates a construct, uh, constructing an index. Because let's say the query is something weird. Let's say casino trading, meaningless query, right? And when you look at there, the search engine will need try to find an index for casino trading. But trading is another topic, casino is another topic, which means they will need to merge two different index with different type of probabilities. Mm -hmm. While they are doing that, you will need to inter interpret the query. So casino trading might mean casino finances, casino earnings, casino finance report, or casino accounting, or it might be meaning also casino strategy in trading. It might be meaning also uh, casino mentality in trading. And then the next step is understanding what type of an index search engine can construct from this and how you can connect this page to the others by showing that you also cover it and how you can transfer this author to the other section. Usually when you go with a GBT type of quick automations or other, let's say, quick SOPs, they don't cover all these nuances. And yeah. if your competitor covers these nuances in a better structure, <laughs> they will be winning basically. Because if you don't see proper contextual domains, for instance, you can process Roberta Carlos or uh, Lionel Messi, from multiple different top contexts. It is, Lionel Messi is a topic, but when you merge it with a context, you will get a contextual domain. It might be about Lionel Messi girlfriends, Lionel Messi network, Lionel Messi investments, Lionel Messi legendary goals. You can have, lo have lots of attributes there, but you should understand which one of these attributes are the most important for your source context. And according to that, you will need to open new pages or merge different attributes together. Yeah. That section is a bit tricky. We're going to need to call this 10 minutes with Corey. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. Sorry, sorry. Right, perfect. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. It's